We're here at the Oregon State Archives building for a very special presentation that is going to be on display for the next several months and it's called Black in Oregon, 1840 to 1870. And so I'm here with our chief archivist, this is Mary Beth Herkert, and with the, those that made this display and did the research and, and brought it all about is Teresa Ray and, um, and Lane Sawyer. And so we're gonna just talk for a moment about some of the things that are in this display, and we hope that we spark an interest so that you'll come and see it for yourself. So in order to become a state, they wanted to keep the slave state, free state balance. So one of the things that was asked was, do we want to become a state? Do we approve of the Constitution? The next question asked to voters was, should we be a free state or a slave state? And then the final thing, which is unique to Oregon, is that we actually have an exclusionary clause. Do you even want to allow free Negroes at that time um, to reside in the state of Oregon? And so the voters in 1857, when they went to the polls, were asked those three questions. And they voted yes for the Constitution, no for slavery, and yes for exclusion. What's really important is that this may have been the beginning, but because of the nature of our government and the evolution that's taken place, uh, we're continuing to work, as we have in, stated in our Pledge of Allegiance, for liberty and justice for all. And that's the goal that we have, but it didn't start out that way. Are the people able to see the Constitution? Yes, we will have the Constitution as part of the display, and we do have it open to the page. It's called the schedule, and um, we have it open to that page so that people can actually see where the delegates and the language they chose to make those three questions um, appear on the ballot. And so this is on display for those that come to this exhibit to see the original Constitution for the state of Oregon. Uh, Lane, can you tell us a little bit about the story on Morris Thomas and Jane Snowden? Yes, Mr. Thomas came to Oregon um, as a free black and was a businessman in the Portland area. And in 1851, he married Jane Snowden, who had come out um, sometime prior to the 1850 census, as she appears in that uh, record. They These married, are African American. Mm -hmm. They married in 1851, and then in 1852, she returned to Missouri and purchased uh, her son, who had been left in Missouri with a slaveholder, and brought him back to Oregon. And the document that we found that was really kind of a poignant um, statement on the, their condition was her recording the fact that she had made this purchase in order to make sure that he was not. Um, identified as being a runaway slave that she had actually purchased him and brought him to Oregon. Notice that the purchase price was $500, and this is $1850. That's a tremendous amount of money. It's almost $15,000 in today's money. Uh, Robert and Polly Holmes came to Oregon in 1844. Um, they were property of Nathaniel Ford, who was um, a rather uh, prominent uh, person in the legislature. They had, when they came, they had three kids. They originally actually had six before they left, but three were sold and left in Missouri, and then the other three um, came with them. According to Holmes in the lawsuit, uh, Ford promised them that if they helped settle the land and establish them in Oregon, that they were free to go. And um, that didn't happen. So eventually Robin and uh, Polly and their infant child were free, but the rest of the children weren't. So uh, they went to court to win back their children, which they eventually did do. As we look at these stories, it brings to life the reality that people had to live under back then. The goal eventually was to ensure that everyone would be treated the same, and we're still on that path. We're grateful that you take a few moments and get a sense of this exhibit. We invite you to come to Salem, to the Archives Building, and see for yourself the story of African-American families that were here in Oregon at the very foundation of our state.